Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and today I'm going to be doing a get ready with me testing three new products. So my previous video was also a get ready with me testing purchases from the Sephora VIB summer sale, but there was a few products that I couldn't fit in because I just had bought so much. So I used pretty much everything in that last video, but I did want to show you guys these three products. The first one is the Nude Stick Nudies Tinted Blur Stick in the shade Medium 7, which I bought as kind of a cream contour stick. Then I also have the Lancome Long Time No Shine Translucent Setting Powder, which which I try out setting my entire face and we'll see how this wears on my oily skin. And also the Lancome Rosy Plump Lip Gloss. This is just like a clear gloss that I applied today as well. So these were three products that I was really excited about but that just didn't fit into that previous video. So I wanted to have a chance to show you guys me applying them and see how they wear and kind of give you guys my feedback on them. So hopefully you guys enjoy this video and if you wanna see how I use these three products then please keep watching. I'm going to try out the Nudies Tinted Blur Stick, and I have this in the shade Medium 7, which is the, like, bronzy shade. There was probably a few lighter shades that might have suited me a little bit better, because they're a little bit more fair. But this one just had bronze in the description, so I went for it. But I'm just going to try to blend this in with my Sigma F84. Okay, so I've blended it in all over the face with this brush and this cheek looks okay. This one, it kind of disappeared. I think I need another layer for sure around the outside of my face. I'm not gonna do any more on my nose because to me that looks okay. I just want to um, build up the outside a little bit because I'm gonna go on top with powder bronzer anyway. So I don't and I'm gonna, I am gonna—I still haven't set my foundation, so there's gonna be powder on top of this covering it anyway. So this is really just like more of a base bronze. I'm using it as a um, like first step in my bronzing routine. And then it just helps the makeup last longer to have cream under the powder products. But this is like, gives you a good idea of how this would look on its own or if you're not gonna set your makeup. Building it up here is looking like a little bit better, like. I'm getting some more color from it. I've already set my under eyes with my Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Instant Retouch Setting Powder in the shade Lavender, and now I'm gonna move on to set the rest of my face with the other product I'm testing, which is the Lancome Long Time No Shine Translucent um, Powder. So I've just put a bunch into the lid, and I'm going to apply this also with my damp beauty blender. You can see I kind of used this for the lavender powder under my eyes as well. But I'm just picking some up and I'm going to set the whole face with this. And don't worry, I'm gonna go over top with some more powder and a brush, but I just like to kind of pack it on with the um, sponge first. Now there's kind of powder all over and I'm gonna take what's left in the lid and pick it up on this um, powder brush and just kind of sweep this all over to remove any excess powder and set any areas that we didn't quite touch with the sponge. So the face is set and I actually really like how this is looking. It's looking nice and mattified, um, but it didn't completely cover the little bit of bronzy that you see peeking through. I think for me, I'm just not really like a huge cream bronzer stick fan. I prefer something like the Chanel Soleil Tan de Chanel or whatever um, because it's like the big tub that you can kind of dip your brush in and for me just the stick is always just hard to blend out in a nice way but I think on its own with like no makeup that it would look really good. But I'm going to go ahead and finish my makeup. I'm going to add powder, bronzer, blush, highlight, brows and all of that and then I'll be back. Okay, so I finished the face mostly and I just wanted to give my kind of feedback on the powder especially. So this was the Lancome Long Time No Shine Powder. And in my last video, you guys saw me use the Charlotte Tilbury Magic Powder in the shade one, which I've actually been using daily since then. And I really like this because it gives kind of like a filtered effect to the skin and it's really luminous and glowy and just kind of beautiful and filtering to the skin. But um, I have oily skin, so it always tends to get oily um, halfway through the day, and then I'm looking pretty greasy by the end of the day, and it just doesn't have the longevity that I typically need. I think in the winter time, maybe when I'm a little less sweaty and oily, this will be a beautiful everyday powder. Or if you have dry skin um, or normal skin, I think this would be absolutely beautiful. If you have oily skin, maybe wouldn't recommend it. And then today I'm using this um, long time no shine powder, which I think just, as you can see, I did basically the same makeup look as my previous video, but this time using this powder, and I think it's much more mattifying. I also didn't spray the Farsali um, 
24 karat rose gold or whatever setting mist over which also gives a little bit of moisture I just left it here because I want to see how long this powder lasts so I'll check in with you guys at the end of the day I'm going on a little road trip to somewhere much warmer than here it's like in the high 70s here and it'll probably be like closer to 90 where I'm driving and then driving back so it's going to be like a long day in the car and also just probably like a warm sweaty day so we'll see how good that this powder holds up in comparison to the Charlotte Tilbury and then I'll kind of give you guys my final feedback but I wanted to give my final feedback on the nudies the nude stick as well I think um, if you have more minimal makeup that you wear or you don't set with powder or you really like doing a um, cream bronzer before your powder bronzer I think this is fine I think it blended okay it didn't totally separate my foundation from um, like my skin and get rid of any coverage it certainly didn't like add too much coverage if anything it was like a little bit tough to blend but I think like on more minimal makeup days this would be beautiful um, I'm just not sure it's totally worth it and the stick seems pretty small I'm not sure how long this will last but I don't use this all that often so it probably lasts me a long time but if it's product you're planning to use every day I'm not sure how long it will last and then I almost forgot I wanted to try one more product I think in my last video I used the um, new what's it called the new Pat McGrath lip gloss which I've been wearing every single day but I also bought this Lancome rosy plump lip gloss and I thought this would be a good time to try it since I was using the Lancome powder today and I really like this as well but underneath I have the NYX lip liner in the shade nude beige and then the Charlotte Tilbury Kim KW lipstick on top so that's what I have on my lips so far, and then I'm just going to put some of this. Um, it's basically just like a clear gloss on top. And I think this gloss is super beautiful. It's really moisturizing and like shiny and gorgeous. Just making sure I had no lipstick on my teeth. Um, but I really like this. Um, again, I'm not sure if it's like entirely different than any other clear lip gloss or the Dior Lip Maximizer or any other kind of pale clear pinky gloss like this but I really like it I really love the formula of the Lancome lip gloss so of all of the ones like this that I've tried this one's probably my favorite it's now the end of the day and it's been a full day hot outside I went to the park and like I said on a long road trip so I spent a lot of time um, pretty warm today and my skin actually doesn't look that greasy ignore my really awful um, sunglass marks on the side of my nose other than that I think the makeup's held up really well and this giant zit that has just become more juicy throughout the day but overall I think my skin doesn't look too too greasy no matter what I have oily skin so it gets greasy throughout the day so it definitely could use some touching up which I can just do now easily with a beauty blender but I think that overall this powder really held up um, pretty well and my makeup doesn't look too gross like it's like separating anywhere other than of course those sunglass marks which is just inevitable but I really am happy with the finish of it and I think that this lasted really long. Definitely this Lancome powder is better than the Charlotte Tilbury if you have oily skin. The only thing I don't like about it is that it does have talc in it so I probably won't like reach for this as my everyday powder but for days when I want to just stay matte longer I think that this would be a better option. Also I think the contour um, really stayed especially on my cheek here I think you can tell that it's still um, fairly dark and bronzy and held up fairly well throughout the day. I think just the combination of having a cream contour and then a bronzer on top just always kind of lasts a little bit longer. But again, I don't think that will, product will be something that I'll reach for every single day. But I just wanted to show you guys kind of how everything wore. All right, and that concludes this video. I hope you guys enjoyed seeing all my thoughts on these three products that I didn't get to try in my previous Get Ready With Me video where I tested all my Sephora purchases. These were kind of the three lingering products that I really wanted to show you guys so that you would get a chance to like see how they wear and everything. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comments down below. I also upload two days a week on Monday and Thursday. So please subscribe if you haven't already so that you don't miss my next video. And thank you so much for watching.